Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Fractal Bitcoin. Welcome to today's Bitcoin news video. I'm Chris. Let's get right into it. This is the price right now of Bitcoin, 64289 You can see today we've come down all the way from right around 67000 all the way down here to 64000 uh, but look, in this is about the past two months of price action, and you can see we're in this range, and everything's okay. And that's about it. The next 18 months or so are going to be the bull run, and so we're going to have times when we go up real quickly, and then we're going to have times when we go sideways. It's all part of it. There's going to be times when we drop as well, and that's all part of it too. So yeah, not much uh, to report on price. But Bitcoin is ready. Are you? Yeah, so when you zoom out, right? When in doubt, zoom out. This is from... You're looking at about the past year or 10 months of price action. So this is July and August, September, and then the, the beginning of the year. And then in, up to March, we came up to our all-time high. And we're just hanging up here. We're ready to go. That's what's going to happen. And this is uh, just in Bitcoin mining difficulty reaches a new all-time high of 88 trillion. And so this is the graph of the mining difficulty. And because I wasn't sure, I looked up what's the difference between Bitcoin mining hash rate and difficulty. And I'm going to link to this, the answer. This is perplexity here. This is some, it's like an AI search engine. So like Google, but with AI. Anyway, they give the answer, what is hash rate, what is difficulty, but then they say, uh, Perplexity says, interaction between hash rate and difficulty. And I thought this was very instructive. The interaction between hash rate and difficulty is a balancing act that ensures the st stability and security of the network. As the hash rate increases with more miners joining the network or existing miners upgrading their equipment, blocks could be mined too quickly. To counteract this, the difficulty increases. Similarly, if the hash rate drops due to the miners leaving the network or due to less efficient mining, the difficulty decreases to maintain the mining rate necessary for a functional and secure blockchain. In summary, while hash rate measures the power and speed of the mining process, difficulty adjusts to keep the blockchain stable and secure, ensuring that blocks are mined at a consistent rate, regardless of the changes in hash rate. All right, so that's pretty cool. Good to know. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Nico says, this is not about the money. The wealth gained is a secondary effect. This is about the liberation of mankind from an evil so entrenched into the political and banking system that want us enslaved. This is a battle between good and evil, and Bitcoin is our last hope to defeat them. The reason I'm including Nico's tweet here is because I agree with this a million percent. This is, it's, it's not about the money. I mean, the, the value will be there for Bitcoin for sure, but it's not about that. It's about the liberation of mankind. Uh, and I'm going to cover a few more stories in a minute about the government going after people for money laundering. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar is the most money laundered currency in the history of the world. Here's some good news from Jack Mahler's announcing Strike Europe. Yeah, so today we're launching Strike Europe, expanding our full suite of products to all eligible European customers. Buy Bitcoin, free on-chain withdrawals, full-featured Lightning Wallet, and more. Get the best of Bitcoin with Strike. Yeah, the Strike app, it's a very good app, and now it's available in Europe. So that's uh, good for them, and good for adoption, and good for all of us. All right, and here's some news about the Spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs that are getting official approval in Hong Kong. There's actually a potential fee war unfolding, says one analyst, and I link to this article as I link to everything below. Uh, but just how um, two and a half months ago, or almost three months ago now, when the Bitcoin ETFs were approved in the United States, and you had Grayscale, Bitcoin Trust, and then BlackRock, and Fidelity, and 
most of those institutions put their fees really low, but Grayscale Bitcoin Trust kept their fees really high uh, for you know their fees to, to buy the ETF and to sell the ETF. And so a lot of people were leaving Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, right? And I don't know if they were going, putting their money into Bitcoin elsewhere. But anyway, that fee war is about to happen in Hong Kong. And that's interesting because, again, this is adoption. Don't forget, we're talking about adoption. These are major institutions adopting a spot Bitcoin ETF, which is backed by real Bitcoin. This isn't just paper. Another big news item today is that Block is letting Square merchants convert a part of their daily sales to Bitcoin. Yeah, so Block is the company behind Square and Cash App and other services. And they're announcing a new program today to allow merchants using Square solutions to convert a percentage of their daily sales to Bitcoin. Up to 10% of the daily sales can be just converted to Bitcoin. Anyway, this is... This is big news. Again, more adoption. It's beautiful. Now, here's some uh, money laundering news. This, I think this just happened today, like within the last few hours. The founders and CEO of cryptocurrency mixing service, which is uh, Samurai Wallet, actually, uh, arrested and charged with money laundering and unlicensed money transmitting offenses. And there's a whole article here. This just happened, but this is the Samurai Wallet website. Obviously, this website has been seized. So, yeah, and apparently Samurai was offering like a whirlpool functionality, which is where Bitcoin gets mixed together. And it's sort of like uh, you can sort of cover your tracks and, and obscure where the Bitcoin came from. So then it ends up being anonymous and untrackable. And they also had one other uh, service where when you transferred Bitcoin from one wallet to another, there would be like a hop in between. Again, that would obfuscate the, the path. Um, now, look, again, money laundering. This, this is going to be a big debate uh, that's going to be mainstream within the next few years for sure is as we're using Bitcoin to get away from fiat money, are the are governments going to let us transact with Bitcoin anonymously? And by arresting these guys from Samurai Wallet, the government's saying, no, you can't. So this is really big. And, and this is just my first take. I just found out about this literally five minutes ago. But in other money laundering news, we have the Binance founder... CZ facing three years in prison after pleading guilty to violating money laundering laws. And there's CZ. So, yeah, I mean, again, money laundering. I I don't even look into these cases very deeply because I don't want I don't want to be bothered, honestly. I mean, this is just an authoritarian regime. And anyone who comes up against them, they're just going to go after them. And so it, it, it's like the same thing they're doing with Trump, right? And I'm not a Democrat or Republican. So before you start leaving your angry comments, right? Uh, it, what they're doing to Trump is insane. It's literally insane. And what they're doing to these all these people is pretty insane too, because it just shows you the lack of freedom that people actually have, you know? It's actually kind of scary. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let's get into some fiat and government nonsense because this is context because Bitcoin solves these issues. Let's go. The Joe Biden administration is accelerating the death of USA Corp, basically the death of the US dollar, which is good for Bitcoin. Yeah, so he's going to, in his 2025 budget, is going to include the highest capital gains tax rate in a hundred years. I mean, all right, we're going to get through this stuff. I don't want to get bogged down, but yeah, this is his 44%, 40, sorry, 44.6% capital gains tax, the highest ever previously set by Jimmy Carter. And here's how that worked out for Jimmy Carter, <laughs> who was a Democrat, by the way. So yeah, nobody likes this. This is not going to work. It's just dumb. And President Biden 
also officially signs bill to ban TikTok unless its owner, ByteDance, agrees to sell the platform. This is from Financial World Updates, I guess, uh, posted by FrogFriend17. Yeah, um, and again, in terms of freedom, I don't like this. I mean, and I'm not saying I like TikTok, and I'm not saying TikTok doesn't have a bad influence on younger people. I'm not saying that, because I believe it does in certain ways. But at the same time, you're having a government demand that a company, uh, and you know, unless it demands that they sell the platform, <laughs> basically. I mean, really, do we want government this involved in what we're doing? No, we don't. Another news item just in. This is actually a funny one. It's not funny, but it's actually good. The Department of Transportation announces new rule for all airlines requiring automatic cash refunds if flights are canceled, delayed, or if luggage is lost. Is this real? <laughs> I mean, this is... I, what does this mean? That if the flight gets delayed, I can, and I, I can just say, yep, I want my money back right now, and they got to give a cash refund on the spot? I don't know how much this changes either, like because, you know, usually they would... Yes, it was a hassle. You'd have to wait for another flight, but, you know, I don't know. What do you think about this? Do you fly a lot? Let me know in the comments. And here, again, more nonsense. Russia to seize $440 million from J.P. Morgan. I mean, this is, I mean, this is what countries do in war. But, you know, America, the U.S. also started freezing things from Russia, you know, freezing assets of Russia and doing all this thing and just seizing them. And so this is just the nonsense that happens. And when the world is on a Bitcoin standard, this stuff ain't going to happen. It, it's not going to be possible, right? It's not going to be possible. So, and just so you know, here's how I feel about politics. Democrat, no. Republican, no. But I, this is the box I check right here. Fix the money, fix the world. Bitcoin, yeah, that's my politics right here. I'm not even joking. Yeah, and let's get into some insane stuff. Them saying, you conspiracy theorists, nobody is spraying anything into the clouds. Snowy hydro... Oops, guess what? Cloud seeding enhances snowfall over snowy mountains during the cold months. Yes, yeah, so cloud seeding is a real thing. And here's another website, makerain.com, make earth habitable. What? First of all, what? And second of all, look at this. Oh, yeah, the United States pioneered cloud seeding in the mid-20th century. Today, China is the global leader in the field. So, and let's not forget, just recently in Dubai... They do cloud seeding to make it rain. And they did it too much, and it rained so much that it was it flooded uh it flooded Dubai. Yeah. Like bad. I think they're still flooded. Because they couldn't stop it once it started, right? And I have a little theory here. Let me know what you think about this. Uh wait, did I Oh, I didn't put it in here, but the um remember that snowstorm in Texas in 2021? It was in February of 2021 in Texas, huge blizzard, unprecedented blizzard. A lot of people died, like 250 people or 300 people died because it got so cold and the pipes froze and the water and the, the, the power went out and, and a lot of the homes in, in central Texas and south Texas, they don't have heat because they don't normally need it. Anyway, do you think... That storm in Texas in February of 2021 was due to something like cloud seeding. Because, don't forget, right before that, there was this whole, like, the, the federal government was really mad at Texas because they had their own electrical infrastructure and th there was other things. But it was like, it was almost like the Biden administration was really mad at Texas for various things. And they may have cl done some cloud seeding to cause that thing. Now, I don't know, but look, Cloud seeding is real, and this is just context to let you know how insane the world is and why we need Bitcoin, right? So yeah, this is Scott Lindbergh saying, 2024 is going to be a historic year by any measure. I'm really thrilled to have a huddle-up addition to commemorate the having. 
Happy hodling. Yeah, because Scott created this game called Hoddle Up, and I actually bought it. I should have brought it down here to show you, but it's a board game based on Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining and halvings. It's really cool, but you can even understand the game without understanding Bitcoin. So it's like a, it's like a really cool board game. And I did get this having edition because I wanted to not only support them, but uh, it's really well made. It's, it's great. So this game is called Hoddle Up. I'll link to it below. And I have to show you this. This is pretty cool. This just shows you agility is key. And you have to stay ahead of the tides of change. Right? So with fiat money and Bitcoin, you got to stay ahead. So here you can see this river is flooding. It's like a flash flood. And here's this pickup truck in the red circle. Watch that pickup truck. Watch what this... He's trying to cross. Oh, can't cross here. Oh, going to have to go further. But look, the whole flood is coming. Is he going to be able to get out? Water's on this side. Water's on this side. Here he goes. He's cruising. He's trying... He's making an effort, and here he goes. Let's, he's going to make it. All oh, the water's closing in. Oh, and look, he speeds through, almost gets flooded out, and finally speeds ahead and makes it out. So that's pretty cool. That shows us, or that illustrates how we can stay ahead of the tides of change. So as the fiat world crumbles, Bitcoin is more important than ever, and we have to stay ahead of that oncoming flood. We don't want to get caught in that flood, you know? So, you know, we've talked about it before, having your money in the bank and yada, yada. It's like, it, this is all risky now. So just make sure you're protected. And if fiat fails, make sure you're in good shape, right? Start thinking about it now. It might, it's going to take some time to think through, but start thinking about it now. So this is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. All our episodes are here and click this link on top right here. It says, join our locals community. This is our locals community. Come on in, say hi. And don't forget every Friday at 4 p.m. We do the Bitcoin panel live stream. It's a panel of Bitcoin experts. We have fun. We talk about various Bitcoin subjects. It's really awesome. So thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure... If you have someone in your life who needs to learn more about Bitcoin, maybe share some of my videos with them because it's daily education and news, keeping up to date with the news. So, all right. Thank you all for your support. I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right. See you.